coming back. <laughs> All right, hello, YouTubes. I am Grimwit. This is since a cyberpunk ghost story, and uh, I think I'm slowly getting used to the janky nature of this game. Uh, it is made with Unity, but you shouldn't hold that against it. I have played some good Unity games, believe it or not. Still, nothing tattoos quality on its neck quite like Unity. So, we'll just deal with the jank and move on. And let's get moving. All right, May commenced to jiggling. Okay. So when I left off, I said I had an idea. So let's go to how to play real quick. And it says here, speed up mini game during menu controls. I just noticed that. I wonder if this is what the gotcha coin is for. So... I'm in the menu controls now. Hmm. Doesn't seem... Oh. No? No in the speed up menu game. How about... Not this menu either. Mm-mm. Nope. Okay, I was just curious to see if that would work. We got two jade bagels, and we got no idea what we're doing next. So, here's that one lady whose picture I recognize. I'm pretty sure that's her. He kind of looks like her. In fact, that's really dead close onto her. What next? There's this. Looking for a clue. There's some nifty statues here. It's so light, maybe I should look underneath. Sure. Oh, there's a small panel screwed at the bottom of the statue. This must have been hiding for a spare key. A coin or something similar could easily open it. Hey! I have a gotcha coin! Hmm. Got it. This must be the apartment key. All right. Reveal your secrets. Why am I in the middle of the room? <laughs> oh dear, yeah. A pair of young girl's sneakers. Shoelaces are cool. Hot pink color. Uh, is it? It's... It's 2084, ladies and gentlemen, and pink shoelaces are cool. The plastic things on the end of the shoelaces are called aglets. Their true purpose is sinister. The shoelaces are made of nylon and still in good shape. They could prove useful. Yeah, I've added them to my inventory. Let's see how cool these pink... I'll be the judge of how cool your pink shoelaces are. Oh my god. They're so cool. And look, aglets. Standard shoelaces in a cool neon purple color. Hey, you said pink. I want my money back. <laughs> I could enter that, or I could continue looking at this room. There's a note here underneath the scoop of some kind. Uh, read the note, of course. It looks like a note from a local grade school. It's dated June 19th, 1983. 
a hundred years ago. Miss Nu Sing Fong. Si, Siu. Siu Fong. Nu Siu Fong. They're actually magenta. We're all wrong. <laughs> they're the... They're the color, they're the other color, like the color out of space, when the high end of the spectrum and the low end of the spectrum meet. We understand your decision to remove Suk Yi from school system last year, but we hope that you will reconsider as our enrollment period is coming to an end soon. I know that Suk Yi had several incidents that forced hands on both sides. What incidents? But I firmly believe that with weekly counseling, we can work with and truly help Suki become a happy, well-adjusted young girl. Please call me if you need anything. I would like to help you and end her in any way possible. Asumi Fujioka, which I'm, that's a really Japanese name. Asami uh, Fujioka. Guidance Counselor, Puget Sound Elementary uh, School. Take the scoop. What a scoop! Should come in handy, especially for tasks too gross for me to handle barehanded. Like scooping out my eyes. It's nothing to see here. Someone's read the Tao Te Ching, or I'm sorry, the, oh man, what is it called? Oh, oh, God damn it! it's right on the tip of my brain. I'm just going to have to ignore it for now, and I'll come back to it later. A giant Feng Shui, uh, shui mirror. I can feel a draft coming from the cracks. There appears to be a few pieces of the mirror missing. Maybe putting them back will give me some answers. Why would you think that? I need to find two pieces. Ik Ching. No, that's not it either. Uh, an ancient hand fan. Even despite the damage and aging from a hundred years in this place, this fan is held up pretty well. There seems to be some kind of Taoist incantation or prayer written on it. It is the I Ching. Yeah. Yeah, someone's read part of the I Ching looking at that mirror. I love the trope in horror games of the protagonist not wanting to do something because, ooh, gross, this is your life at stake, lady. Dig through the dung pile. You know what? Uh, Silent Hill 3, that made perfect sense given the personality of Heather. She was not willing to stick her hand into dirty stuff. Or she, What was it? There was one point where she's like, I'm not going to eat this. This chicken is from another dimension. Why would I put it in my mouth? And then you cut back to, like, her her father from Silent Hill 1. And he's just kind of like, Oh, look! Random chemicals! Shove them in my mouth! <laughs> oh, where were we? Oh, that is creepy, having those mannequins back there. <laughs> the table's covered in Taoist statues and tokens. Wait a minute, this looks like a part of a giant feng shui... Uh, mirror. That's that's in my my thingy now. More joss sticks and offering cup. These will come in handy. Just add that. A small children's backpack is filled with school supplies. Well, let's put it in our pocket. Enter bedroom. Not yet. An old camera. I never thought I'd see one up close. Wait a minute. The markings around the lens are strange. These kanji are incredibly old. K. Asul? Really? This must have been the person who built the camera. Obviously one of a kind. So there. There's your Fatal Frame reference. Somebody's messaging me on my phone, but I'm busy. Wait, what's this? What the? My camera took a random photo. 
Bathroom. Years, probably decades of times created mold that would smell, but okay, I'm not going to deal with that. A messy desk covered in Taoist charts, scrolls, and manuscripts. There's a large and ornate book laying open. Well, let's read the book. Or, you know, we could also not. Did it show up in my journal? Whoa! We have four exorcism manuals, and we're going to go through all of that shit. An old manuscript de detailing various types of spirits and demons from Taoist religion. Some of these reach urban legend status and are only barely recognizable now. Looking further, this book seems to describe methods of exercising these types of entities. The tenant of this apartment must have been a priest of some sort. Calendar from the year 1983. Several numbers highlighted somewhat randomly. I wonder if there was a correlation. Okay, that was added to my inventory. What? Should have been added to my... What was that added to? Oh, here it is. Apartment 304 calendar. Several numbers. 04 is written at the top. Several of the numbers of these 12-month calendars highlighted with the same marker and orders are... 050919 with 04 at the top. I wonder if that's the combination. Before we go into the combination, I hope you guys have a, a nice uh, comfortable chair and a pipe and a nice steaming hot cup of tea. We're going to learn how to exercise ghosts. Get you some safety scissors. What? <laughs> All right, here we go. <sighs> a series of manuscripts detailing various types of Taoist spirits, demons. It also provides a myth methodology of exercising these entities. The books appear to be several hundreds of years old, but up until whatever happened in this building were very well preserved and cared for. I'm going to assume that all of this is from her cyber eyes taking, like, spy photos of all of this. Why not? Gaki, lesser demon, believed to be malformed human souls. When a human is greedy, selfish, or gluttonous, in life they may be punished in hell by extreme means. The soul is forced to wander an endless desert in search of food, but despite the pain of starvation, no death ever comes. If the soul does not complete their penance, they will eventually resort to eating their own flesh. However, the flesh is vomited back up immediately and reforms on the body. Eventually, the pain, starvation, and severing twists the human soul into a weak, yet desperate demon. Exercising Gaki is simple. A single slice from a Taomu will banish them, while being pelted with warding rice will force them away. So rice is, a, is like salt in Taoism, I guess. Talismans that are imbued with different types of Tao energy are called Fu. Each of the Fu can be can provide different effects to whatever is, is attached. I wonder how accurate this lore is. Warding Fu. This Fu can keep demons and spirits from crossing any threshold, like a spiritual barrier. The entity will be repelled upon touch. However, if the Fu is attached to something mobile, the barrier will move with it. Well... Shit! Put that thing on my forehead! <laughs> concealment foo. When attached to a person or object, the concealment foo obscures said object from any type of spiritual entity. When placed on a door or window, the area behind it will be hidden as well. Okay, that's probably what's on the uh, door downstairs. Sealing foo. wonder if the foo or scrolls have been hanging. Yeah, that's what they are. They're, they're talismans or, or charms. I mean, we've seen this used in countless video games already. It's, um, 
Or is that ceiling fu are among the most common for Daoshi? Some spirits may be too powerful to exercise completely, so binding the spirits to or inside of an object may may be the only option. These fu are linked in. These fu link the entity directly to the attached objects until the fu is removed or broken. You know what? I should start studying Taoist magic. I mean, I'm, I I really want a copy of the I Ching though. Now, it's not that it wouldn't be the first magic I studied. If survival hor uh, surviving in a horror situation requires sitting on a dirty toilet, how many people would make it? Uh, in America, none. Subduing Fu. When dealing specifically with reanimated corpses and other forms of soul binding, subduing Fu will put the attached puppet into a deep sleep-like state until the Fu is removed or broken. Further, this Fu can have a preserving effect on vassals which can decay. So that's the Fu. There are many types of earthbound spirits, but none are more dangerous than the Dai Sai Guai. Cool. This is the twisted and corrupted soul of an already dark human. When a soul is born corrupted with a bad karma and Dao of its parents is further corrupt... corrupt wait. Is Taoism and Buddhism kind of the same religion? Because karma is a, is a Buddhist principle uh well, the parent is further corrupted by their own evil actions a spirit with the ability to corrupt all around it touches is created any lesser ghosts connected to the dai sai guai will be given incredible spiritual energy but also be corrupted by the dark dao energy these spirits will act as a system of defenses as well in order to exercise the Dai Sai, the Dai Sai Guai, a, the lesser spirits must first be exercised before any form of Dao magic is viable. Further, the Dai Sai, Swa, ah, Dai Sai Guai can only be banished with tremendous power. A simple exorcism will not suffice. It is important to note the Dai Sai Guai will sometimes have connections to other spirits that was extremely dark in life like violent killers these connected killers spirits will only be exercisable when a foo is joined with effigy of the said spirit and burned huh this is gonna come up okay Really? I mean, nobody's going to understand, but I, wasn't one reference enough? Let's just move along. Uh, butterflies are good in Taoism? Neither. They're just sort of either messengers or reformed spirits. Ah, the doorknob turns and it doesn't look like it has a lock, but some kind of force is keeping me from opening it. Okay, I guess we're going to the bedroom now. Is this based on Taoism? Maybe. I don't know if any of these terms. I've played Asian horror games. There's a lot of Taoism in this game. Like, a whole lot. And it leans, obviously it leans towards the mystic side of Taoism. Now, as far as I know, there's not a lot of mystic Buddhism, or at least none that was taken very seriously. So maybe it's just kind of mixed in there, because Taoists and Buddhists tend to get along. Enter bedroom. There's a framed photo of a little girl. Well, let's see the photo. Did it throw it in my journal? 
That's not a journal. What the fuck? No, it didn't. Whoa. Another jade bangle? I wonder if it'll protect me like the others did. Well, uh, I don't know if I can have three. It's an old journal in the nightstand. It's written in Cantonese, and it appears to belong to someone named Nu Sing Fong. Read the journal. The journal is filled with entries detailing the difficulties of raising a young girl, Suk Yi. It seems like the family was struggling a bit, but stayed strong despite their troubles. Entry added. So, curious. Did that jade bangle... No, it wasn't put in my thing. Now, I... does it show up on the map as something I have not gotten? We're in 305, right? Yeah, we are. No. It didn't. Interesting. So... Huh. It moved on. So I lost a jade bangle, basically. Alright, whatever. If it was using Buddhist terms, I'd probably recognize it a lot more. A traditional gold ink wedding painting of two dragons encircling each other. Typically, these depicted a dragon and a phoenix, so two dragons must have been some special significance. I'm sorry, it's the future. How do you know so much about traditional dragon stuff? Nightstand. It reminds me of the old man's simple alarm clock. A lamp, a cup of rings cover the top. There's also a Betamax tape. Hell yeah. I'd like to see that photo of the little girl, but I guess I'm not going to get that. And I don't think I'm going to get that journal entry either. Mm -mm. No. Okay, well that didn't give me anything. Although this is obviously some kind of ghost-free sacred place due to raisins. Do I have a uh, broken mirror? Wood plate piece. Will that go here? Both missing pieces of the mirror. Okay. I guess not. We were a Betamax family when I was young. I VHS all the way, baby. We were on the winning team. All right, I have. Um. Hey, play a game with me. Uh, okay, you must be Suki. Sure. Okay, what's your name? I'm Suki. Let's play Bao Zen Du. But no cheating. If you do, I'll be mad. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a draw. Okay. Ah, oh, you lose. You win. I didn't mean to. You win. Yay. I'm not cheating, I swear. You lose. How many of these do I gotta play? You won this game! Cheater! I wasn't cheating! What the hell happened? Floor must have collapsed. Looks like I'm in some kind of basement. I gotta find a way out of here. I swear to God, I didn't cheat. Lobby on the other side of this rubble, but where the hell's the exit? Did the city build over it at some point? Either way, I'm gonna find another way out, or at least a way back up to the upper floors. This debris is filled with glass and other dangers. If you can find something to push the rubble away, I can go back to the lobby. Oh, if I can find something, okay.
The TV is off, but there appears to be a power running from this room. Sure, press the power button. According to police reports, the gunman acted alone in executing all 13 members of the Chongqing Gambling Club. It's still unclear if there is any connection to remaining triad groups operating in the International District. Authorities are currently... Broadcast must have been from 1983. How is this possible? I think... I think we've left the realm of the impossible for a while ago, May. I think at, at the point that the uh, the ghost girl causes the floor to collapse, echoes from 100 years ago. Sh you should probably just ignore whether or not it's it's possible. Uh, with kids, cheat means win, so no winning. I can't remember if I was a sore loser. That girl clearly was. There's a sign-up sheet for some kind of weekly event. There's a magazine laying open on the coffee table. It looks like Suki really loved games. Uh, Rage Ninjas! Out of control! She has a special maneuver, which is impossible to pull off. What the fuck? Top left, right, down left, up right, select start. Suki, this code will get you through the dead end in Super Rage Ninjas. I will show you how to do it next time we play. Mariko. Was that added to inventory or was that added to journal? I bet that was added to journal. Cheat code book. And a sign up sheet? Oh, I forgot. We were, yeah, I forgot this thing. Hey, there's more Rage Ninja. Old arcade unit. I've heard of this series from a golden age of score-based action games. They stopped making them at some point in the early 2030s. Though these units are like 1983 originals. Okay, bullshit. I can go into Best Buy right now and buy a uh, arcade cabinet with Frogger on it. I don't know why they were selling them. I don't know why it costs so much. But it, it is a symbol. It's like Ikea. So I don't think if, if it's still there now, I don't think I'd, it's ever going to go away. The door is labeled laundry. It's worth a check, I guess. I'm getting so tired of locked doors. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that makes some sense now of where I am. It's a sign on the door that says Salon, employee entrance only. Maybe I can find an exit or an answer inside. It's unlocked? Weird. A painting of a Japanese woman in beautiful kimono. I wonder if it's the woman who owned this studio. Well, one thing at a time. The cash register is an old cassette uh, tape machine of some sort and a logbook on the desk. I'm going to have to go back upstairs and get that cassette tape, aren't I? Uh, let's examine the cassette tape machine. Machine appears to be plugged into the phone. It's probably an answering machine for recording miscalled messages. It plays miniature cassette tapes, but these tape, but the tape's missing. Okay. Uh, check logbook. It looks like an appointment logbook for the hair salon. It's filled with names and dates. 
One name appears quite a bit, Sally Fong, for all kinds of treatments and stylings. There's also a paper clip that could come in handy. Okay, open up the register. It's mostly empty, except for a few quarters. Oh, we're gonna need those quarters. Take the goddamn quarters. Ah, fine. There's some Cantonese that looks like it's written in lipstick. Oh, that's not creepy. It's a bit older than my generation's lingo, but I think it says lying whore or something to that effect. Another Manakineko. Oh, oh, it's a lucky cat. I wonder if it's a bank like the other one in the crawl space. Oh. Bingo. Look inside. A set of keys. It looks like one of the apartment keys. Well, the other one says laundry. Well, that fixes that problem. There appears to be something plastic clogging the drain. Could it be plastic hair? Taking the quarters would be stealing. I think we're beyond that. 100 years? I think we're now at the point of calling this salvaging or archaeology. An old rubber floor mat, probably for making the stylus feet more comfortable while uh, standing all day. Hey, you know what I just noticed? I'm wearing a coat. Ooh, we got a new one. Hurt? Hurt without jacket. Huh, I didn't even notice I was hurt, but alright. A wooden broom. I can use this to clear away the rubble without getting hurt. Are you kidding me? May shows us the way, I guess. I can't carry any more right now. Really? What even is it? The deco is so old now, but this place is probably super chic when it was open. Mako would love to see this. I can't carry it. What is it? I can barely see out of side. Does anyone hear me or see me in here? No use. There's no way I can get through these boards off. I didn't realize I had so much stuff. All right, all right. Looks like a jade bagel without the uh, thing. Bangle, not bagel. Eh, bagel. Let's just take the other one. That might be it. Hang on a second. So, again... No, I guess not. I thought it was supposed to show if there are items that exist that I can't get. But that doesn't seem to be the case. But yeah, it might be a jade bagel. Huh. Janitor's closet, it's locked. There's a pin pad on the door, something feels familiar here. Old coin exchange machine. Hold on to that thought. Okay, what do we got here? I'm gonna have to write this down real quick. So we got... It's like a 9x9 nine nine grid. And we have blue, red, green, and yellow. Now this door here shows it's blue, green, red, or yellow, green, red, blue. So that would be one... Green is two, red is three, and blue is four. That will probably come up later.
Drink up! A vending machine. It still has power and some and somehow feels like it's still keeping the drinks chilled. I'm pretty thirsty. It's supposed to be worth the risk, but each drink costs a one dollar fifty. Wow, cheap. I mean we can go and get some quarters. Should I check the coin return? Another quarter. Wait, how many quarters have I been stealing? Wait, and I have one J bagel? But I have two what? There's nothing in here. Maybe a coin return has quarters left? Damn, empty. Uh, coin return is empty as well. Coin return has some quarters inside. Nice, one more quarter. Well, let's go steal quarters from the register. I want a drink. Was that a sailor outfit? Okay, no, it was my imagination. Two quarters and a gotcha coin. How did the gotcha coin make it a few years ago? What an excellent question. So we have four quarters, we need two more. Let's hit up the register. Two quarters, I can use them in the vending machine in the laundry room. That's six quarters, that's $1.50. Oh, hey. It's letting me do this now. Uh, let's see here. It's eight, three, four, one. Granted. Perfect. Got it. Hopefully there's something useful inside. Uh, I mean, I also am thirsty, but... Yeah, okay. Typical janitor's closet, but there's a large bottle of cleaning chemicals. The chemical is marked nitric acid. Holy shit. Alright. Water, soda, milk tea, or lemon drink. I mean, lemon drink sounds really refreshing. I don't trust milk tea. Soda's probably fat. Uh, I mean flat, and water is water. Let's do a lemon drink. Second can of water came out. Lucky. Ah, much better. Nitric acid must have been some heavy duty dirty laundry. Paperclip. Old fashioned paperclip. Becomes printed documents don't really exist these days. Paperclip have far different uses. Like you can chain them up into a necklace. Salon key. Under the rubble, don't see a number, but it matches the other apartment keys. There must be a door going up the floor. In the broom. Still sturdy enough to push away debris and junk, and too dangerous for bare hands. And water. Pure water. It's important, because right now I'm drinking water, but it's not pure. A can of good old fashioned H2O. Nothing special, but it hits the spot. Plus, I can really use it in many ways. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. The way she walks is so weird. I mean, am I wrong? There's glass and other dangers. If I can find something to push the rubble away, I can go back to the lobby. This broom will work. Use broom. There. The next problem is the electrical wire over the puddle. I need to find something to cover it with that'll ground me as pop as I pass by. Rubber or thick plastic will are the only things that'll work. You know what? I know just the thing. All animations of this game feel off. Like the artwork's good but the animation is a little stiff and wonky. Ex 
Examine drain. Sure. I can't quite tell what it is. Maybe I can find something to pull the clog out with. Use paperclip. Well, this is a bit disgusting. It looks like a miniature cassette tape. It's completely wrapped in hair. Oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> thick rubber is thick enough to protect me from electrical wires over the pedal. Take floor. Let's take a look at these things. What? I didn't click on you. A very old magnetic tape cassette media device like this were phased out within a few decades of use, but I bet they're still playable in a tape deck. Is it really? I respect that they tell you about stuff, but don't tell you to take it until later. It's damn annoying. Well, the backtracking is annoying, but the actually seeing the stuff, that I do respect. There's no pixel hunting, and I, I like that. Thick rubber floor mat. Of course we're going to play the tape. What's this? Okay, let's give this a try. If I find any more tapes, I can play them here. Huh. I guess that's something we'll deal with later. Was that phone always glowing in the background? The Betamax tape, I can record my progress here. Leave for now. I don't know. Should I save or should I go? I have two Betamax tapes. And we did make a significant amount of progress. Hmm. I'm always... Like, I don't know, I'm always a little bit uncertain if I should do this. It's been quite a while, while might as well save. Yeah, okay. We'll throw this under the second save. We made a lot of progress. Use rubber mat. Okay, it's risky, but there's no other way forward. Plus, I see a light switch around the corner. I should need, shouldn't need to worry about this place yes. once. Yosh. Hey, I recognize where we are. And you know what? If we go over here... There is a mini cassette and another baited max tape. Score. Let's uh, listen to what's on this tape. That voice, it sounds so familiar. What... What did it say? I don't understand Mandarin. Huh? Is she saying my name? Oh, was it May something? Like, maybe that was Mom? Two and L buttons still don't work. What is L? Oh. The floor we're on, I guess. All right. We can finally see what's in that other place.
Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, goddamn backtrack. Oh, hey, Suki. Uh, you're right. I will never find you. I don't have time for this. I don't know. I kind of have time for this. Okay, that's... I don't have the key for that. There it is. Storage locker with 04. There's a numeric padlock on it. And I have already forgotten... Sign up sheet. Oh, that's right. It was the calendar. Uh, 050919. So, May 9th, uh, 1919, or 2019, I guess. O five O nine nineteen. There we go. I'm too short to reach it. I need something to stand on. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I can definitely use this to reach that cage. Move the chair. Now let's take a look. There's a box that was shaken earlier. The tape's fused to the box. I can't open it with my bare hand. What? It's cardboard! You wimp! Maybe I can find something to cut it open with. I... <laughs> Fucking seriously? It's cardboard! Use this iron pipe. Use the lighter. You could open it with a paper clip. You could open it with this salon key, for crying out loud. I'm so disappointed in you, May. Punch it apart. Yeah! Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're on the third floor. What else did we get that could be used? And I don't I don't remember coming across anything sharp like a knife. Um, we got a key to the salon. Strength was clearly her dump stat. She put all of her points in hips and boobs. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Hmm. I don't remember. I guess we'll look for, uh, uh, seek you. It, it was CQ, right? I don't think I have anything. I guess I could open the water. Okay, so nothing over here. Some trilla steel would be hard to break apart or even cut. Maybe I should find some way to weaken the metal. What? Oh, oh my god, that freaking nitric acid. Did I not grab that nitric acid? So let's see what the hallway looks like on the other side. Um, 
That's an obstacle. How the hell did I survive that fall? I don't think you did. You're a ghost, May. We need to find another way around. I can't make that jump. It'd be dangerous to try with the floor in such bad shape. Yarp. <laughs> Who needs strength when I could just bust a grade open with my boobs? Roll charisma. Ah, uh, the door must have loosened with some of the collapse. Oh. Okay. Where am I? Oh, third floor. What? Oh, this is that big long room I was talking about. We're actually, like, while in this room, there's nothing underneath us. Right? There's a gap above and below this room, which is really bizarre. I guess we'll try to find Suk Yi. Wait, wasn't this... This was sealed before. Handmade dollhouse. Several dolls' toys occupy the miniature rooms. I see a Robbie the uh, Usagi the rabbit, which literally means rabbit the rabbit. The top bunk is covered with toys. Some something about this stuffed rabbit looks familiar, though the memory is a bit foggy. When Maiko and I were little, we had a bed a lot like this one. I don't know Maiko. The wall is covered with adorable yet somehow creepy drawings. <laughs> There's also a poster from a vintage anime. Aris Yurkadaji. What is that about? Oh. <coughs> I think it was called Maho Shoujo Ushimimi Mu. Anyway. Eh, I don't know. There's an old dodgeball. Surprisingly, it's still got air and plenty of bounce to it. You can dodge a ghost, you can dodge a ball. There's another shrine here and a photo of a young man and a woman next to the offering plate. Are they Suki's mother and father? The least I can do is complete the shrine before making an offering. I don't know how to complete the shrine. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, dodgeball. Perfect for opening tape boxes. Yeah, you really could, couldn't you? Hell, do you see on top of there, she... Apparently this little girl was really into Gundams, and I'm okay with that. I could use that Gundam right now. Its plastic sword could cut open the, pl the box that I need opened. Out oh, there's Barbie doll. All right, Suki, where are you? Are you in mom and dad's bedroom? Let's go and check real quick. This must be Suki. I should bring this Frodo to the shrine in her bedroom, and an offering to Suki and her parents may help. That's a really weird sound of her footsteps, kind of fading, kind of shifting up and down. I don't know what to make of it. Um, oh, here we go. I'm picturing a girl with a Barbie doll house filled with Gundams. Little girls do that. Like, toys a toy. They're not always interested in the cute and pretty Barbie. Sometimes they want to hook Barbie up with a Gundam. Okay, place photo. 
Not to make an offering. Make offering. I'm so sorry, you, Suki. Please be at peace. Who knows if that'll work. But it's done. Gundam's dream home. Hell yeah. Oh, that looks like a big bunch of destruction. Let's just continue on down the way here. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this game in one uh, one sitting. <sighs> Let's do it. Police tape covering the door. Odd, something must have happened here before it flips. Oh, the door's unlocked. Oh, good. Is that a pig head? Other than being completely terrifying, something feels off about it. You think, May? The sink is bloody and rusted over. What does that say? What gun? Oh boy, free pig face. Yeah, really. A large plastic bag with a rusted zipper. There might be something useful inside. If I could some find something to loosen the zipper, I can open the bag. Looks like a shrine, but the offering cup has spilled ashes everywhere. The table is covered in dirty dishes and what looks like college homework. There's also a plastic bottle. Huh. There's a wooden fish statue and it looks like it got some kind of religious significance. There's plenty of books on chemistry and science here. There's even some classic comic books. This guy had great taste in people. <laughs> hmm. There's a lot of self-help books. Spiraling in, A Study of Overcoming Anxiety, Wes England. Oh, a Betamax tape. Traditional lions dance heads. This tenant must have had hardworking, dedicated, must have been a hardworking, dedicated person. The training required for lion dancing is pretty intense. Actually, I've seen some... Uh, you wouldn't think it is when you see them dance, but stop and take a moment to think about how much they're doing all at once. Because they're pulling these triggers to make their eyes flutter. It's it's more than just dancing. It's Yeah, it's a bit much. This looks like a college student desk covered in textbooks, homeworks, and notes. Amazing how little has changed for nearly a century. There's even a staple remover. Oh, take that. This may come in handy at some point. Uh, let's read the note. It's a note from a friend or a classmate. Hey, Kev, I know it's not your bag, but you gotta come with us to see the new slasher flick. Stop being such a wuss. Plus, Joey is bringing a few hotties. We can finally show them how Americans have fun, bro. This guy was American? P.S. Kelly will be there. I know you've had your eye on her. JP. This guy reminds me of some of Micah's friends. Some people just like staying in, you know? Uh, HG80 Mercury is circled. Maybe something to do with an assignment? I want to see if that was added to my journal. That was slow as mud. Note to Kevin. Hmm. What's this? Box of old Chinese firecracker. There's no guaranteed they'll work, but it's worth taking them with me. Interpatio. 
Just the bathroom. The patio and doors seem to be unlocked. Fuck yes, jump to freedom. Looks like an old thermometer holder. The thermometer itself must have fallen at some point. Just like before, I feel there's a barrier separating this building from the world. The city looks almost deserted. Huh. Despite decades of withering, all this junk and garbage somehow survived. Nothing useful here. Wait, wait, what? Okay, that's the thermometer. And that's the thermometer to the front. Uh, hmm. Well, believe it or not, that's an hour. And, uh, let's take a quick break. My neck is starting to give me some trouble. Maybe this game is just too anxiety uh, forming for me. I don't know. Maybe it was the pig head or the little girl ghost. So, I actually have a weakness. Uh, I, I'm kind of weak versus little girl ghosts. They're really creepy. So, eh, that one was all right, I guess. But maybe it's Victorian little girl ghosts. So, anyway, let's go ahead and take a break. And, uh, yeah, get back to it. <laughs> 